The hype around me on the internet is built around is it real or not? The 10 second videos, they're the hottest thing right now and they're not paying a lot. You almost died from this? Dude, yes, I almost drowned because the rope got caught around my wrist and I couldn't get up. All the people in the world that Candy Crush could have recruited for this campaign, it was me and John Cena. I mean, to be honest, it's smart. Could have been a career ending injury, easily, broken neck. I love doing them, getting them over with, but the anticipation of getting hit is horrible. You probably have had many concussions because sometimes I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Not because of you, but I definitely think it's getting worse. <laughs> talk about your fat ass though yeah what so can, what can we say about it let's see so you you went to mexico to have that surgery done or where was it <laughs> no i uh i had it here in the u.s where what state um i can't disclose the name of the doctor because a lot of people a lot of people think it's fake yeah no i mean but i felt it. it's pretty them. like it feels it looks fake but then when you feel it it feels pretty you know yeah, it doesn't I mean, feel as fake as you as it looks. When it comes down to it, it's genetics, diet, uh, obviously exercise, and then recovery. <laughs> recovery. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah. Um, can we? We can, can have Bradley can Martin do a natty or not on me. Can you show us? You want to do a little spin? Oh yeah, you want me to? Yeah. You want to spank it so they know it's not pillows? Mm, yeah, I guess. Well, no, nah, I don't want to do all that, but yeah. just just flex it or something. Yeah. Flex it. How would I be able to? Yeah, see. Good in the frame? But it wasn't it wasn't just shots. This was a full surgery. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean did, or did they do both? It's not no, it's not shots. At first, um before I started working out, like if you go back to twenty seventeen photos of me, like I don't have it, but you can train hard enough for five years and acquire it <laughs> if you have the right genetics. <laughs> that's dude. That's the hype around me on the internet is built around is it real or not. Do you have any hype around you on the internet? <laughs> uh, yes, I'd like to say a little bit. A li yeah, a little bit. Depends on how you define hype. How do what you is define hype? It? Hype is a bunch of sixteen-year-olds that are avidly watching every one of your videos that you drop. You have that? You think? Oh yeah, I watch you too. I watch your videos. Yeah, Young you said you said that earlier about me. You said you said Danny's fan base is crazy. They'd eat his poop. And then you were talking about Taylor yeah. Swift, and you said a Taylor yeah. Swift fan, some of them wear adult diapers to the show so that they don't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, dude. Because so, they don't want to miss anything. Is that real? Yes. Where did you Google see that? This. Type in Taylor Swift fans adult diapers. <laughs> this is real. Yes. Let's talk about where, when you got started, though. I just got started as a complete joke in 2021. It was a bet. And, and you're from Michigan. Yeah. Grand Rapids, Michigan. I started as a... My buddy Jaden was showing me these videos on TikTok. This is, this is like during lockdown when mm -hmm. everyone was on the app. He was like, look at this. So funny. Ha <laughs> ha. And I was like, this is the most degenerate nonsense, brain cell depleting <laughs> garbage videos that I could make. something. I could make something way better, way more viral, way more funny. He's like, dude, it's not that easy. I don't think that you could. And I was like, you want to make a bet? And then made a bet with him and just started posting in my spare time for fun, like as a joke. And I think it was like six videos in. One of them went really viral. It was like that, like green screen Zoom call. Yeah. Nonsense yeah. In the beginning. The one where you get punched or a different one? That's one the of them. The bicycle. Yeah, that's the bicycle. There's a few of them. There's like one from a car, one from a boat, one from the football game, skydiving, scuba diving, just everything that I could possibly do. Like once I saw there was traction, started getting the millions of views and whatnot, and then I was like, I mean, I should probably just keep it going, and see what happens. Yeah. For I have I got nothing to lose. There's no risk. There's no like monetary investment that was at risk. It was like I might lose a couple hours of time. You know what I mean? So what was what was the bet then? I was like fifty bucks. Damn. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of money, but he paid you. Yeah. What does he think now? Uh, no, I mean, if I fucking thinks it's sick, but you said you made videos before this. Yeah. So I was, so a freelance videographer, so I'd be going around doing like header videos for websites for small businesses or like corporate ish videos, real estate, like virtual tour videos, with like mm. my gimbal and my camera and just be doing anything for a few hundred bucks. Gotcha. So I had all this camera knowledge that would put me above 
the average Joe when they're starting to learn how to do social media videos with an iPhone and a ring light. Yeah. And they're doing really cringe dance lip syncing videos. You never did any of the dance videos? No. I'd like to see those. Those are... That's what gives the word influencer a bad name. I remember not even wanting to download TikTok because of all those dance videos in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it just like... Yeah, I feel like it just made influencers feel so like lame. And then... You even say the word influencer, it's like... Yeah, I don't even like saying the word. I don't like saying the word YouTuber either though. I don't even know. I just I don't even know what the fuck I say. I I make videos. The number one thing that kindergartners want to be nowadays is not an astronaut. It's a YouTuber. Really? Yes. YouTuber. And that's horrible. Probably not good. I wonder what it's gonna be like in ten years. In ten years, they are going to have. You know, they have like statues of like Ronald Reagan and (laughs) and great presidents. It's literally gonna be statues of Mr. Beast. And like Jake Paul oh, and big no. influencers, <laughs> big internet celebrities, going to be. I know. When do we get our, like? When do we get like our like Walk of Fame? You know the stars, because it's no different. What we do is no different than that, really. You know what I mean? Like it is. It is obviously. Well, but like I'm saying, as this world goes to the way it's going, yeah, we're now in a similar path. Yeah. So they were like as they were, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, I mean, even what you and I do is still a bit different because you're so long form like focused right versus i do like 10 second clips just quick little have you dopamine hits have you talked about your like strategy on that and how you go viral yeah i tell the brands that i work with or anybody who's curious like what's what's the secret what's the formula it's you should make a video that a 10 year old can understand and laugh at and explain to another 10 year old what's happening and why it's funny Mm mm-hmm and you should be able to mute it. But if a ten year old knows why it's funny and what's happening, you could probably mute it. We do we do somebody. the same thing with our video, but it's we just have to have Kiwan be able to understand it and explain to someone else why it's funny. Yeah. And then we're good. <laughs> if Kiwan has the you're saying Kiwan has the IQ of a ten year old? No, no, I didn't say that. Dude, it's because then then the language barrier is not there. Anyone from any walk of life can understand the video. Because if a ten year old can, like, yeah. Anybody can. It has to be super simple. Also, the duration has to be like 10 seconds, hmm. 15 seconds. So if it's longer than on Instagram Reels, you think it's like you're kind of fucking yourself? Yeah, it's weird. It's it's like either 10 seconds or 30 or 60. It's like no in between for some reason. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's... I think they categorize, the algorithm categorizes them differently if you're doing a 10 second versus a 30 versus a 60. Because hmm. then it'll... It's boring to talk about, but the watch time yeah, yeah, yeah. is do, the biggest thing. Do you feel like, obviously those videos, are like that's a good tool, but do you feel like you've almost fuck yourself where you know you're not talking and no one knows who you, like people know who you are, obviously you can't miss that thing, but do you feel like, uh, like with me, obviously it's like, they're all like, you know, we can kind of relate to each other because I, mm-hmm. I would assume if I met any of these kids in, in real life, we probably have really similar interests. Mm-hmm. I would assume like most of these people are like, it's like ninety three percent, ninety four percent male. We're probably yeah, what all. Is your split? I think it's ninety three or ninety four percent male. But I'm sure they all like probably want to laugh, have oh, fun, we do, have the exact do same crazy followers. shit. You know what I mean? I feel like so. If I meet any of them in public, I, I feel like it's all like that. But do you feel like they? Do you feel like you have the same type of audience, or or do you feel like they don't know you at all because you don't talk? Yeah, I like mean, you don't I have even, that connection. I feel because I, I feel even, like I could hang out with any one of my fans, pro- most likely. Like if yeah. if it didn't start off where I have a headache and they're annoying the fuck out of me. But if we like, if we just like met and became friends, I'm sure we all could become mm. become friends almost, you know. Dude, I don't know what my fans would be like if I were to hang out with them. I I have a lot of international followers too that are outside the U.S. A lot from India. Really? Yeah. So I'm sure our senses of humor are the same. Yeah. Because they're following me for. That's how I always look at it. Like, I feel like we we would have to be able to like. Yeah. But we probably have some of the highest male. Mm-hmm. Followings on the internet. It's hard to get above ninety percent. Oh really? I don't think yeah. I've, I don't think I've ever been under ninety. <laughs> I think it used to be. Why don't, worse. Girl, why don't right? girls like us? I feel like it used to be higher. 92, 93. Yeah, ninety two, ninety three. Yeah, mine's ninety one point something on Instagram. Yeah, I think why my I think my Instagram's lower than ninety. My YouTube though is higher than ninety. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? It's not even a conspiracy theory. It's just like how hopelessly corrupt the whole like politics as a whole left versus right 
Here, I'll explain to you exactly what <laughs> the real, what the real war is, or who needs to be. Do you ever feel like you? Do you think, believe in aliens? Ah, oh, man, there's got to be something. No. Yeah. But real quick, the the politician thing. Do you ever think that even though you have a theory that we none of us really know what the fuck's going on? No, this is proven. Okay, okay, go ahead. So, the people in power, the elites, have the left fighting the right. Okay, Republicans, and Democrats. But in reality, it is all of us, regular people, left, right, young, old, black, white, doesn't matter, young, old, poor, doesn't matter, versus. It's all the regular people versus the elites. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can see that. The 1%, 0.01% versus all of us regular people. But they have us all fighting each other. Yeah. You know? It's a great tactic. No, I mean, it's it's genius. They're not dumb people, but I don't want to get into politics. What's another I, conspiracy? Maybe we should stay away from politics before <clears throat> it becomes a bomb dropped on all of our heads. I mean, everything, all the conspiracy theories are tied into politics because they're the yeah, corru- the, corrupt MFers that are making them happen. Like a, I, I think everything COVID. everything's pretty money. Everything's money related for the most part. Oh, yeah, dude, 100%. It's all, we should, yeah, we shouldn't talk. This is why I don't. <laughs> this is why I don't. This is the only thing that sucks is like you can't talk about anything. This is why I don't say words. Isn't that effed up that the powers that be? What about the aliens? Are having though? us? We are scared to speak. Yeah, because, because I just what? don't care enough to like. I mean, I don't plan to do this forever. I'm just. I, I just mm. want to like have fun, do my thing, and eventually. When are you gonna retire? I don't know. Don't I think know. I'll always make some sort of. Con- I like making videos or, or maybe movies one day or something, but. Right now, I kind of depend on it. I mean, I could just stop, but I I, I have more goals that I want to accomplish. But mm. um, start to from when you started to current, uh, what is it from when you started to right now? How many years has it been? I think it's yeah, it's my tenth year. Tenth, yeah. And I just hit my fourth. I mean, I would even consider those years. Those aren't even real years. The what you've done. What do you mean? I mean, ten second videos don't really count. Yeah, well, that's I'm just what kidding. I. You fucker. <laughs> that's what I started doing. That's what I'm still doing. It's once once brands or like the monetization is super high, I'll be done with it. Once they figure it out, because it's so it's like a new medium. The 10 second videos, they're the hottest thing right now, and they're not paying a lot. Yeah, but you could always transition into like full length videos. Yeah, but I, I like we talked about it, and it's in my vlog. We talked about it in Vegas where. Yeah. I, when I seen you, I was like, oh, this guy's just a stupid little niche. And then, mm. and then I seen you again. I was like, oh, okay. And then I seen you again. I was like, oh, he's, this guy's still going. And mm. then I was like, oh, okay. He's not like one of those just one off things because it's because you're actually intelligent. So it's like, I Dude. think people like you can succeed in whatever way you want because you're able to, like, if you want, if you wanted to switch right now and never make a, you know, I mean, obviously mm. you can still make 10 second videos when you want, but if you wanted to just stop doing what you're doing and just make vlogs, I think it would work. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not sure. Or anything, anything that is like, any type of video like it is difficult or even a podcast the, maybe it's difficult to get the short form viewers to translate over you, but you don't need minutes. to you don't you don't need to get them to translate you would just get new viewers that are long form viewers mm. i guess is what i'm saying yeah it's difficult i wish it would have started with long form i don't think it matters i would just do whatever you want to do and it'll work yeah it's i mean like you've I only spent 4 years it's not like you spent that much time 4 years is quite that's like a college degree Speaking of, I went to, I went to college for a film and video degree. You have a degree in that? Yeah. How ridiculous is that? It was probably a waste of time and money. I should have just started doing the social media videos as a freshman instead of going to college and becoming a freshman at that age. Would you recommend college to anyone? Any kids out there watching? I mean, if you're doing the like the route of a doctor or a no, lawyer, no, I'm talking like filming film degree. It's a tough one. Yeah, if you want to be a fucking zero, doctor, you have to go to yeah, college. Yeah, if you have zero <laughs> knowledge, <laughs> you didn't specify. It's like common. If you want to be a fucking teacher, you have to go to doctor, pharmacist. Like, there's so many jobs that require a college degree. You can't yeah. get around that. So, film and video degree. If they, if they have no knowledge of film and video, lighting, audio, uh, cameras, editing, probably maybe get like a. What's the two-year degree called? Associates. Yeah. 
you like a two year degree, but then again, you can just go on YouTube and learn everything. Yeah. He saw self-taught. I knew nothing. Yeah. I just like started editing and was like, I didn't know shit. Let's talk about your stupid game. Dude, this game slaps. What's up with this stupid thing? <clears throat> Dude, this is going to revolutionize the board game industry. You really think it will? Yeah. So whose idea was this? Jonathan's my buddy. Okay. Who's a genius. And it's uh, it's a get rid of your cards game where you spank. There's a butt, a spankable butt that comes in it. You want to show us? Yeah, you've held it. You've played with it and done inappropriate things. Let me see. Oh, it sounded like up. a butt right there. <laughs> Let me see that butt, dude. Come on. I mean, I this is probably the only good promotion you're going to get for this game. <laughs> yeah, it's probably this right. podcast. Yeah. The marketing uh, genius. The, this is a pretty good idea. It's, oh, dude. This what do you think of it, Alex? As good as it gets for yeah. So get what do you do? The What's mic. the point? You you slap the butt when what? So whenever somebody breaks a rule, there's rules and different categories within the cards. Just stop playing with the cards, man. It's okay. It just keeps spilling out. That's all right, man. So there's different categories within the cards, mm-hmm. and you have to have your teammates guess what word two is v2, on the cards. Right? No, you could do anywhere from four to ten players. Oh, per team? Uh, no, total. So four divided by two or ten divided by two. So how many people? Four or per ten team. people. No, per team. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> four divided by two <laughs> or ten divided by two. What are so we two dividing? Or five. What are you talking about, dude? You have dude, what are you talking <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, this sounds like the worst game of all time. <laughs> huh? What question did you just so, ask me? So how many butts? No, there's only how many people butt, get a butt? The butt goes in the center of the table, and like so. Let's show. There are two teams. Yeah, there you go. Bro, look at this thing. <laughs> team one and team two. I'd buy this game just for that butt. We get a grand total of two sales. From and this, how many of these have you guys butt. made already? Stop it's, playing with the fucking cards, bro. Just put the box. Put the me. cover back on. They keep falling on me. They're behind me now. So these aren't made to order. You're gonna order a shit ton of them. I'm not sure what my buddy's plan, who's facilitating the whole thing, what he's got in mind. He said you're going to sell them online. I remember that. And then you're going to go into retail. I'm not sure what the order of what Do you is, know anything about your game? <laughs> no, dude, I'm, I'm the creator. I'm supposed to be making vids and staying relevant so that when this game is available, people hear me out and hmm. want to get one. True. How, what's your idea to promote it? It's a pretty marketable, pretty easy to market game because you got the slappable butt cheeks. Like today we went to uh, Venice like boardwalk out on the pier mm-hmm. and set up a table and I had a sign that said break my butt when 500 bucks. That's smart. And people were smashing it, trying to break it. And one kid actually did. We did not think. They are very durable butts. We did really? not think anyone was going to break it. Some like 15 year old high schooler did. Mm. We had to give him 500 bucks. <laughs> Jonathan was pissed. <laughs> yeah. That's going to go in your budget, dude. <sighs> yeah. You know how many know, of these I'm you got to sell to make that 500 bucks back? Uh, I don't even know what the, re- I think the retail is going to be 40 bucks. Damn, that's steep. It is cheaper than one of Bradley Martin's kidding. sweatshirts. <laughs> what is, <laughs> God damn, what did Bradley Martin do? <laughs> Why are you He's throwing Bradley like Martin just like a good example of merch that's expensive. <laughs> this isn't merch, this is, a, this is a game. Exactly, this is way better than merch. Yeah, I know. Right. You can have a like sweatshirt this. I was joking for though. $50, or you can have a game that you can have an experience with multiple people giggling. This, this isn't going to keep you warm though in the winter, like a, a Danny Duck and Hoodie could. That's the only problem. Like that little butt's not gonna keep you warm. You well, know what I'm saying? Go and get a twenty dollars sweatshirt from Walmart, and that'll keep you warm. I don't know, man. I don't know if it works like that. No, I'm not trying to shit on Bradley Martin. Actually, you know what I am? Since no, he's backed can... out of the burger challenge. Dude, this guy hits me up, Alex. He sends me a video. He goes, "Yo, you want to do this when I'm in LA? <laughs> it's a fucking challenge. You win three thousand dollars if you accomplish fifty. No, thirty. 50 burgers. It's 50? Yeah. 50 fucking burgers, bro. Double cheeseburgers. 50 of them. I'm like, bro, I can eat like six of those, maybe. Yeah. Maybe six. Like, yeah. gun to my head, like eight of them. Like, how are we going to eat 50 of them? And, but two people, you get you get two people, you get 30 minutes, and you win three grand if you can eat 50 double cheeseburgers. Like, yeah. how the fuck am I going to help? So I linked, I did a group chat. I said, you and Bradley can do it, and I'll just come watch, because like, I would like to see you guys win. Dude, and then, yeah, if you lose, you don't complete the challenge, you have to pay $450. Really? That's how much all the burgers, burgers cost? Yeah. 
Yeah. Are you going to do it? I don't have a co-pilot. Bradley won't do it? No. Should we call him and ask? You should. Let's call Dude, him. Dude, you're the one that's trying to gain weight. You should just... You think they have somebody there at working? Me trying to gain you? weight has nothing to do with meeting twenty five fucking. I'm not gonna be able to eat twenty five cheeseburgers, dude. Yeah, I mean, if you say Bradley's two hundred sixty won't happen, but if you like believe nah, and convince yourself, like that. that's, that's like saying for it. no. That's like saying if you wanted to win the hundred meter in the Olympics with your fucking fat ass, you could do it if you believed. It's like nah. not the same. Like gun to your head, you could eat twenty five. Don't tell him. He's about. probably sleeping. It's nine p.m. right now. I feel Is like he it? goes to bed early. Every time I've done a video with him, he hadn't slept for two days. He's probably lying. Most people don't stay up for two days straight. That's a cat. That's so cat. Two days straight. 48 hours? Yeah. Unless you have a matador, maybe. <laughs> hey, Bradley, this is the IRS calling. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You got him, man. Oprah Winfrey, mm -hmm. Martha Stewart, Nancy Pelosi. You have to fuck one, marry one, yep. kill one. Go. Kill Nancy Pelosi. Come on, dude. Out the gate? Out the gate. Dude. She is probably a lizard person. What does that mean? Do you want to get back into conspiracies? <laughs> All right. Dude, there's like... Okay, and then fuck me. Substantial Mary. evidence that there are lizard pedophiles at the highest level. What the fuck does that mean? What's a the, lizard? Like, shape-shifting demons. Bro, what the... I swear, It's going to be like an eight-hour episode. You're going to have to show us... I'll send you the book, man. Dude, this is crazy. Okay. Well, they're going to kill, kill you in the next two weeks. <laughs> Fucking Mary. And then you have, you have <clears throat> yep, yep. Barbara... No, no, not Barbara Streisand. Martha Stewart, Oprah Winfrey, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. Kill Pelosi. F. Oprah. Mary. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart seems kind of dope, to be honest. Yeah. 100%. I would probably do that, too. Yeah, uh, I think I'd, ma I'd probably marry Oprah. Nah, she's nuts. Is she? I, yeah. I, I'll be honest. I know none of them personally, so... No, I don't. I don't know. Martha Stewart seems pretty dope, though. Martha Stewart is. Why did they nail her for tax evasion? Insider trading is what they said. There's probably some other it's shit. It's just a regular day in politics for Nancy Pelosi, but she didn't get nailed. Who's the most powerful person you could call right now on your phone? Who don't, do you got on your phone, bro? I don't want to say his name. Who? I don't want to say his name. Dude, who gives a fuck? We're not going to call him. The net worth of the company that his family owns is 86 billion dollars just say his name dude we'll beep it out and i'm gonna be like whoa really you're actually gonna beep it out yeah. bro we're not what the fuck do i look oh, like okay i don't know fucking nbc uh, oh no way the fucking like, that the don't say it because now they're gonna know hmm? they're gonna know what it is now when you say all the details you're we're gonna have to beeping beep it yeah we're gonna have to beep all that out that's oh. pretty crazy though I want to get like, into this conversation like now, money. but I don't want to talk about that because then they'll know. Um, um, we still can, but if his name's bleeped. All right, so we were talking about with aliens and shit, and then, like, you know the stealth bomber? Hmm. So the stealth bomber was made in 1989, I believe. Wow. Okay? It's now 2024. Look at what that thing looks like, right? Hmm. You'll, you'll He'll show the fucking picture of it. That was made in 89. Bro, what they're working on, like, in 2020 has got to be fucking insane. Oh, yeah, dude. Everything. Like, that, look at that thing, bro. That was made in 1989. Everything that gets rolled out to us. Dude, the shit's got to be insane what they're working on right now. Yes, we get the garbage. The people that are in charge of real tech like this keep it to themselves. And then we get stupid little Apple Vision, but they've had that for like probably three <laughs> decades. And the Apple Vision's not even. Dude, if you. Yeah. If you're. Okay, my job is like social media bullshit. I bought the Apple Vision to make content with it. Mm. The Apple Vision Pro, I would never buy that. It's such a waste of money. If you're, it's the if you of don't, the end. yeah, if you don't make content and you're not buying these things to make money with them, do not ever buy something like that. The Vision Pros are the biggest waste of money. And I own stock in Apple. Just keep in mind, I own stock mm. in Apple, a lot of stock in Apple. So yeah. I'm saying this because they're 3,500. Fuck, man, they're the biggest waste of money ever. Those things are pieces of shit, actual garbage. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you want to take a look and just see what the what is going to happen in the future, just Apple watch. stock hit that bitch. Hit five years. Hit five years. Come on. Who gives a fuck, bro? I don't care. Crypto is really up right now. Doesn't matter. Look at that chart, bro. I've been owning that for longer than five years, to be honest. Hit them. Hit max. Hmm. That's what I mean. You guys don't worry about when it goes down. I don't give a fuck. I own a lot in that shit, and I don't care. Look at that. It's like it's long term. I don't. It doesn't even bother me. Long term. I start crying. <laughs> no, but it's like you don't want to be. You don't. It's like everyone's hyped on like Bitcoin right now because it's going up. It's like mm -hmm. you want to, you just want to be going like consistently, not only when, oh, it's doing good. I need to buy yeah. some now.
Yeah. That's the worst time to buy. You want to be buying it when it's fucking. If you're buying a legitimate thing, you want to be buying it when it's down, not up, obviously, mm-hmm. and selling when it's up. But no, oh, yeah, I bought all my crypto like a year and a half ago and have not. It's, I'm planning on having it in there for decades. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Which is what I plan for Apple. Yeah, but Apple Vision Pro, if you want to just like, if you want to know the future, just watch the movies that they're putting out right now. Everything Ready Player One, Avatar 2, all of these movies are. That's that's like the long term goal. Really, for that would be cool. The I would love to plug. Be, they want us to live in a computer program. They want it to be a augmented version of because they're going to make outside so uninhabitable that we have to live in the digital world. I wouldn't mind that though, where I could plug my hair into like a fucking creature and go through the water and fly and shit. That wouldn't be that bad. No, it's not reality. You it's know, fake, <laughs> dude. That is also I'm we need to highly dude. consider the fact that we are contributing to getting to that point in the world where everyone's living in a fake digital reality through the Oculus and the Apple vision pro like us making the videos is like millions, hundreds of millions of hours of watch time that people are spending on the internet. Yeah. But we're teaching them stuff too. I'm teaching them a lot of great things. Don't you ever worry that you're contributing to the downfall of society? Fuck no. I feel like the kids that watch my videos go and do fun shit that I do. And also a lot of our stuff's like travel vlogs where it like, or showing you things you can do outside, you know, like if obviously you can't do all the shit I do in Florida, but like a lot of the shit mm-hmm. is just us fucking around with our friends. It's like, go yeah. fuck around with your friends and have fun. I, I often like think to myself, how can I make it more intellectual or, or teach But it's them not, something. it's not always that though. I think teaching people is good, but dude, some people are having them laugh. Some, yeah. Some people are literally like, I obviously didn't realize this when I started, but like, as I went on, I've gotten fucking thousands and thousands of messages about people who are depressed and mm. the laughs actually help them. So at yeah. least I tell myself that because that's what they say. So it makes me feel better about what I do. It helps them, but there's no shortage of funny videos on the internet. That no, definitely. Yeah, but there, it's more than that because maybe for, maybe not for you, but at least for me, it's like it's a deeper thing for them when they watch my videos rather than just a funny little 10 second video exactly. that any idiot could create with a big yeah. butt. Imagine. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go on. There's some Dude, decent physical feats of strength. No, I love. I, no, you. Okay, I'll I'll say a bunch of good things about you. You have a career with something you shouldn't even have a career with. For one, <laughs> like no shot that there is sh- a you, big open. There niche is in the zero. Market. There is zero chance you would ever even be sitting here on this shitty podcast. You should not be here. You have a career off of a fat butt, but you're very athletic. Very, you're actually really athletic. People don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Now maybe they will. You know they. <laughs> No, people, if you read I the I don't comment think people think about it, though. I don't think people really think about it. If you read the comment sections, people are always talking about how really? there's, there's no, like, sport or physical activity that I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Do. No, yeah, you're super athletic. So, yeah, you're really athletic. And then you're down to, like, work, which a lot of people are lazy, you know? Mm-hmm. You're always down to just go yeah, do it right away. Yeah, people see 1% of what I do is these fun activities where it looks like I'm living the best life ever, 99% is a bunch of boring stuff leading up to these no, videos. No, of course, of course. And editing them afterwards and sitting in an office at a desk and not having a crazy amount of fun doing something physical out in the world. Also, I'm not going to be able to keep doing this for much longer because I keep almost, it's like every week I almost die. Like Doing what? Almost these stunts, I almost die every week. Dude, that's fake. Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> Pull up any other video. <laughs> any other video. Wait, you almost died from this? Dude, yes. I almost drowned because the the rope got caught around my wrist and I couldn't get up and they couldn't. See, that's great vlog footage. Yeah. Just to say the real yeah. quick. No, like... we did make a vlog of this. Oh, you did? Okay, cool. Risk. I risk my life on a weekly basis for 30,000 views <laughs> on my full length YouTube videos. That's pretty sick though. How did you almost drown? It. How did it catch around your wrist? Um, it's it's very hard wakeboarding behind a a jet powered boat because of how the yeah I bet how he was turning around and how I had to keep my board sideways and we would just wade through the water at very slow speeds. And it's hard to explain, but it like got caught. Yeah, it's very awkward. Do you think people watching this on my channel will know who you are? You think everyone knows who you are? I'd say ninety percent. Oh, they will. Yeah, cool. we have this. I think we have the same because I haven't really followers. seen other than your short form stuff. I haven't really seen much. On, we have a very you. similar sense of humor, and 
Yeah, I like the video of Ronnie Mac is funny. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like that that video. Play that video though real quick, Alex. This yeah, this one's funny. This wasn't dangerous. Like, dude, this is like a, a this, yeah, this is funny, dude. This, like it doesn't look I know, but it's I harder easily, than that. That's I harder than it looks. Broken my neck yeah. in half these. How did how did that feel when you hit the table? Horrible. Yeah, that thing's pretty those are pretty hard. Yeah, my shit. That's shin. a funny video though. Yeah, no, they're all We need to have you do a matador ad. I don't know ad. how I ended up in this this genre of physical stunts i think that's i just i do it because i think that it's funny the, the one guy actually punches you in the head doesn't all he? real hits yeah doesn't the one guy, oh, i haven't seen and no, i've seen this one yeah no these suck i i i love doing them getting them over with but the anticipation of getting hit is horrible like i won't sleep for two days really yes that could have been a career-ending injury easily broken neck yeah that that shit yeah or concussion at least or you a, probably have had many concussions because you are a little like sometimes talking to you it's a, you're a little slow like because <laughs> sometimes i don't know if you understand what i'm saying how did you set that up the those two guys own they flip a bunch of homes and own a little reality thing and let me that, destroy a roof that's great what are your thoughts on aliens do you believe aliens are real statistically speaking the odds are higher that they are real than i think so i think not. That, yeah i think they're higher too i'd say they the, are real interdimensionally which means what? So we can see in certain dimensions. Uh, we can't see into the fourth dimension, right? And that's where they exist. And oh. there's infinite dimensions. Really? Yeah. How do you know this? I feel like I'm in Stranger Things. Quantum physics. Hmm. What dimension are we in? We exist in one, two, and three. Can you fact check that, Alex? <laughs> do you listen to any podcasts? Not really, do you? Yeah. What, just because some dude on a podcast said it means it's true? No, I mean I've listened to many. Oh, just because it's on many podcasts, many, it means many it's true. different people. <laughs> it's been repeated more than once. That doesn't mean it's true, though. Honestly, cut that. No, nah, that's cut not that. Out. Actually, yeah, clip that out. No, nah, just beep it. Just beep it. No, Alex Jones though, didn't. Hasn't he said many things? I don't, this is is this pol- This would be politics. Dude, or no, what yeah, is? Alex but Jones hasn't he the, said multiple things that are true? That became he true. Ninety-five percent been correct about everything. <laughs> and I take the 5% of what he was not right about and make that his identity. Really? Oh, yeah. He was talking about Epstein a decade before it happened. Dude, that's crazy. What else did he say that um, was true? Um, that people like said he was like, crazy about? 9-11. Yeah, what, what, what's it? 9-11. Everyone knows 9-11, though, right? Uh, no, there's still... People still think it... Oh, yeah, my mom doesn't... My mom, like, last year was like, no, 9-11 was not... Was not the U.S. government? No, it. Uh, they were definitely complicit and enabled it, allowed it to happen. No, I know. My mom was like, "No, nah, that uh, she didn't. She like didn't even know that was a thing." Yeah. I was like, "No, nah, I, mean, I think it was an inside job, mom." It's at the point where you can't watch mainstream news. Yeah, I never, I never watch news. I just feel like it's like being in like this world, at least with entertainment, where I see how people manipulate and change things that are not even fucking real or whatever. I just see how they do mm-hmm. it and how people believe it. I'm like, holy shit. Like the are news you scared is scared of AI. The news has got to be a joke. AI. I mean, I don't know if I'm scared. What would I be scared of? Exactly. You're not going to know what is real. I feel like it's fake. What I is feel AI like you generated? can't right now though. Yeah. This is only to like be honest. Of no, but to be honest right be, now, maybe we can know what are we going to do when there's AI creators? There's like a fake I, Danny. I, I Duncan there already is a higher channel. Not, I think there already is a little bit. As, it's not dialed in yet. Yeah, yeah. But there, I mean, dude, the people watching right now, they don't know what the fuck is real and fake anymore. Just a normal yeah. shit on fucking articles and videos and all types of shit. There's so many things yeah. out there that are like, you don't know what to believe anymore. The you powers gotta, that be. You almost got to watch a video and read yeah, the dude, comments and try to up. figure it out. What is this? That is AI generated. Yeah, that shit's crazy. It's like if you, Kevin. Yeah. If you look at her feet, she's like gliding. But that's the only. Also, this has got to be like an exception. Wait, what about Alex Jones with the frogs? I'm not really well versed on his gay frog theory. <laughs> he is. Bro, the type of content you make to then this conversation is like. That's why I don't talk. But people are going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Is this bad for him, Alex? Oh, yeah. Just every brand deal drops me. Really? No. I'm doing a video with John Cena on the 14th this month. March 14th. Yeah, you want We're come? at. Florida, Tampa. Yeah, I'll be there. You're kidding. Yeah, I gotta go to Florida for my meet and greet on the ninth. Yeah, I would love to go. He lives in Tampa. Tampa again? Hour, hour and a half. Wow. He lives there. 
Uh, yes, he does. Really? Yeah. Dude, I love John Cena. You know he actually has a, the record for the most Make-A-Wish? Like, he's completed dude, the most Make-A-Wish to kids. Man. He is. He's a, he's a legend. I met him once at Barnes & Noble. Dude, that's got to be my exit strategy from social media is being the... Dude, I'm perfect to be the next up-and-coming... What would be my stage you gotta, name? You have to shut the fuck up then on all these conspiracies or you're never going to do that. <laughs> dude... <laughs> There's WW, no, if you've ever been to WWE, bro, you event. gotta shut your mouth though. Dude, they are. No, I guess you can do I, W. Okay, I mean, I Logan, know. Logan went from dude, the whole forest thing to doing W, and he's WWE. killing it. Have you seen the people that go to the WWE? Yeah, what is, is that? What is a that? Picture of my exact followers. Right there, that whole crowd. Can yeah, is imagine? it? Doesn't Logan like win those things? Do you know anything yeah. about that? Yeah, they're all choreographed and scripted. I don't know. WWE's real, I think. But it's fun. It's like... No, a, no, no, but I think with Logan, it's real. I think he's actually wrestling them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. This would be a perfect exit strategy. I finish well, ask, doing all ask, the dangerous ask, ask stunts, John Cena. and I'm like the next contender for the why is, belt. Why is John Cena doing videos like with you? i just seen he was in a Jake Paul Candy video. Candy Crush, the app. Oh, it's a brand deal. Of all the people in the world, the Candy Crush... Could have recruited for this campaign. It was me and John Cena. I mean, to be honest, it's smart. They're probably trying to get a more male audience or something. I guess. I'm pumped. That That's they sick. thought I was a good candidate. How much do you get paid for that? I'm not supposed to say. We'll beep it. We'll beep it. For just one Instagram post? And one story post? Um, one. It's like one hero video. So one post that's cross-posted to all my socials. Dude, how are you getting that much for that? That's dude. I should. Dude, I don't get. Be, I don't get paid more. I don't get paid shit. The you only know one. How much Cena's getting paid? The only one paying us right now for this podcast is our sponsor, Marlo. Let's get into that. Introducing Marlo, the ultimate destination for premium grooming essentials. Elevate your daily routine with our exquisite collection of soaps and other luxurious products. We thoughtfully crafted an assortment of high-quality face, shave, and body care essentials to elevate your lifestyle effortlessly. Join the countless satisfied customers who have experienced the Marlowe difference. Visit our website or your nearest retailer today, or you're a little bitch. And we're back. <laughs> Frankie, tell me. Next conspiracy. No, no. What? What? Um. How did the Candy Crush deal come about? They just see my videos online, so that is my job to stay relevant on social media and then the brands because it's like a portfolio it's like okay let me go look at danny's resume his youtube channel Bro, i got What's a million and no one uh, hits me up that's i get that's so many not as family friendly hey i get so many non-brand deals that i have to make my own companies because we that's get nothing because you're not clean enough i know whatever yeah so it's a fine line it's like i know a, i know i feel like we're pretty clean though to be honest but it worked out for you because your fans are so diehard loyal that they'll support your Side quests, businesses, and merch. I think they know that we're not we're not sellouts, though. That we wouldn't promote any bullshit yeah. to them. No, I'm very like, I I will only do a very small amount of brand deals per month. Like if you go through my page, it's very hard to find one. And when you do find one, it's it's still entertaining and fun. Should we drink another one of these? <sighs> that these? might wake me up. I mean, I've I mean, got, it's a little late though. Then we're not gonna sleep. Yeah, I know. That's the only problem. How many milligrams? 185? There's only 185 milligrams of caffeine in this. Wait, you hear that? What? You hear this? What? <laughs> Bro, the people that have to now speak into that mic <laughs> after you. <laughs> you walk so they could run. That's disgusting, dude. Dude, it's not. The next animated. guest that comes here and like talks to them, I'm like, I'm sorry, but Frankie put his ass cheeks right on that. <laughs> they might be pumped depending on who they are. Are you really going to drink another one? If you are. Man, I love these, dude. You know how long this took me? How long? I started in July 2021. Really? <laughs> it takes that long to do energy? No, I just a lot of like little, you know, a lot of issues. You know, no, nothing ever just works out the way you want it to work out. You, you know the vibes. I seen a video of you talking about you only made X amount on a video that got 500 million views. And then mm -hmm. all the comments are just talking shit to you. Like, oh, well, it sucks that you made that much off... Seven seconds, uh, you know what yeah. I mean? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, 550 million views is like 8,000, I think, or something. Bonkers. 
13 grand 13 grand yeah 13 grand dude the thing is like right at this moment in 2024 they're not paying a lot but when i'm done with this in five years i'm sure you're gonna make 200 grand from 550 million views on an eight second video it's yeah. just they haven't shorts is so new that my youtube rep was telling me this none of the advertisers that are willing to pay a bunch of money for your 10 minute videos are convinced yet to be paying a lot of money for the 10 second videos but they are like two years away maybe less from convincing the advertisers to pay a lot of money. So you know what you do, right? You just find up and coming creators Mm. and you help them and take a cut of their money. Mm. Yeah. Look at this 6.1 K views. This is, well, you should, you should learn how to risking my body for six K views. Yeah, but you gotta. It's just like a slow and steady. I think it's like a snowball effect. You just start post every yeah, week. Yeah, I have to put and, in the reps. Yeah. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta put in the quality reps every week on a long form video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you don't, then it's yeah, it's never gonna. It's just not gonna work. It's whatever you fucking. Same with the shorts. I didn't start popping off right away. It took uh, yeah, it two takes, months, three it takes, months. It takes time. It's hard to pump out the ten minuters. Yeah, I know. We've been doing it for ten years. Okay. Yeah. What? No, hold on. What about the Malaysian Airlines? The fucking giant plane that's just missing. Like, come on. There's no way that plane's just missing, dude. Uh, I've not heard about or read into that. It's just like a giant airplane that just went missing. No mm. one knows where the fuck is at. No one ever found it. To date. Yeah. Like, I bro, mean, what the fuck? Where could it be? How do you? How do you? How does a big ass <laughs> plane go missing, bro? There's. Like, dude, I mean, look how big that plane is. Maybe we're living in a. You heard that we're. It's more likely we're living in a simulation than that we're not. I've heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I wouldn't even doubt it at this point, man. All bets are off. What's real? What's fake? I mean, that one's definitely not real. I mean, they know where the fucking plane's at. I mean, there's no way you just lose a fucking giant ass airplane, dude. It's not a fucking Epstein's Island. It's not a fucking cell phone. <laughs> you can't just miss. You can't fall out of your pocket. Do you want to know the only way to fix politics? The only way. Mm. Remove all the money from the well, equation. Yeah. Which will never happen. Yeah, well, I mean, and Nancy Pelosi aggressively insider trading. I know. I, w- I wanted. I heard there's an app for that where you can copy what they do. I wanted to do that. You wanted to do that. Well, I'm, I mean, why do I actually sit here and not make money when I could just copy her if she's making money? Might as well, right? Mm, it it kind of reminds me of when uh, Jake Paul was boxing in the beginning and everyone was talking shit on him. Mm. I went and bet fifty grand on him in Vegas against Ben Askren. I was like, I might. I didn't really want to sit there and be a hater. I was like, I'd rather profit off it instead of talking shit online like a little broke bitch, right? So I was like, mm. fuck it. So I put 50K on him. I won 32K and like, Damn. dude, it's like in a minute, a minute. Wow. which isn't much, you know, but it's like. Points bet? I did money line. Yeah. Jake to win money line, 50K, 132 profit or 31 profit. Wow. But like, I mean, remember Alex, we were there. It was like a minute long fight and then I won that. It felt fake, but. Wow. I mean, I was like, at least I wasn't sitting there like, I don't know. I feel like kind of lame sometimes just sitting there talking shit like everyone else. Just sometimes. I like talking shit sometimes. Nothing but. better than talking shit with some of your boys. True. What's better than that? Winning 31K in Vegas in a minute. That was pretty cool. One minute. I know. So it's like if I, w- I saw some app where they're like, they follow like the insider trading, like like the pol- like Nancy Pelosi and like certain people. <laughs> so I was like, I need to get that and see. Just maybe maybe try to copy. Because it's all public. Yeah. I mean, I'm just sitting here telling everyone to fucking buy Apple for fucking eight years now. It's like, which it's gone up, but I'm just saying like. Mm. That, that that return on her shit's probably way better than what I'm saying, but I don't know. Dude, how old do these people have to get to stop doing politics? Well, why would you stop if you're making money? Because they're older than dirt. Yeah, but it, it's like if you could keep going. I guess, like, dude, I'll pull up the video of the guy that just just blacks out in the middle of his sentence. The really old one that he just stands. Oh yeah, yeah. There. Play play this, Warren Buffett. Huh? This became a politics episode. Exactly. It's like. Yeah, he's. A, I like him. He's pretty smart. Can he I feel like most, recently. No, he's alive. What the fuck? Oh. No, but he he, he's died. very like common sense driven. It's like invest in good companies at a right price. You know, it's yeah, like, I don't know. That's kind of what I did. I, I just always was just like, I follow my gut a little bit, use my brain a little too. You know, I don't, it's not too crazy, but I just try to invest in companies that I think are legitimate. I don't try to time it. I just, just be consistent with it. You, you don't have a 
person investing for you, you're doing it. I mean, I've had them in the, I feel like, bro, I feel like everyone just, for everyone out there watching, I feel like you don't need someone. You, you really don't. It's so fucking easy now. They have Charles Schwab. You can download the app. They have Robinhood. Download the app. I know Robinhood had the bullshit with the one thing. But like, yeah. I, we're not fucking sitting here buying and selling. Who cares? We're just putting it in long term. It should be fine. I'm sure there's some shit on yeah. like. So it's like, I, I just tell people like, it's just like every week, every month, whatever. Just invest a little bit. Every single week, every single month, whatever. Hmm. If you get paid weekly or monthly, just put a little bit every, every month. And down years down the road, you'll have money. That's what I say. Hmm. You don't, and then and then a lot of these people, bro, they invest your money and they fucking take it too much. I mean, we've dealt with that. They they fucking be trying to rip you off. It's like, and they're fuck, and then you're making better returns on your little app than they are. It's like they don't, they're fucking. No one knows what the fuck they're doing. Just yeah, that's a great. This is a great one. I had this printed out and on my mirror when I was a kid. What? Yeah, I had this printed out. I remember. A lot of people talk shit on Dave Ramsey, but Dave Ramsey helped me a lot with. No, no, no. Listen, listen. A lot of people talk shit on him now. But Dave Ramsey cause... helped me as a kid. He helped me not get a credit card and not fuck myself over. I never got a credit card at when I was, you know, when I turned 18. Mm -hmm. And I never got myself in a bunch of debt when I turned 18. Wow. That was the one thing because Dave, Ramsey, Dave Ramsey, because of Dave Ramsey, fully because I had economics. Wow. I had economics class in high school. I remember Miss Blair. That class helped me a lot. I love that class. <laughs> and then I had this printed out because of Dave Ramsey. And I was like, okay, I just need it. So then I was just investing in a mutual fund. Hmm. And then I was like, one day I'll be rich. I was like, if I just put the money in for eight years, I'll be rich. You know, because a million dollars back then was money is that a year. So it's basically eight years. You put two thousand in a year, mm. and then because of compound interest, that's what I said yeah. in that one a lot a couple episodes ago. Uh, compound interest over time. I think this is at like a ten or twelve percent interest mm. uh, return, and then it, it becomes like two million. But this motherfucker, thousand. That's it. Yeah, but this motherfucker over here invested for like thirty eight years. I think is it thirty eight years or how many? I think it's thirty eight years. I forget. Two thousand mm. dollars a year for thirty eight years, and he can't ca catch up because of the wow. in, the compound interest is so strong. That's how you get really rich is compound interest. Hmm. Dang. Well, that little finance lesson from Danny. Yeah, I said this like the last episode. You obviously didn't oh, watch did. it. You fucking bitch. The what, dude? I watched. Uh, it was either Keywan or Kevin. I talked about, episodes. but yeah, I mean, you can't talk about it enough. I mean, these motherfuckers are gonna sit here and say they want to be rich. They're gonna sit here and listen to me talk mm -hmm. about compound interest, and then they're gonna have the audacity to go to bed or go watch fucking some bullshit YouTuber or eat some fucking bullshit food instead of learn what compound interest is. If you want to be rich, then figure it out. Stop being a little fucking bitch. And like avoiding it because that's what they do, man. These motherfuckers, they want, oh, I want to, I want to be rich, and then yeah. they don't fucking listen, and then they just like, oh, Danny yeah. said learn about compound interest, but I'm not gonna learn about it. All right, then stay broke. You know, it's just like it's that yeah. simple. Yeah, it's not easy to become rich. It is easy. It's fucking really fucking easy. Uh, I mean, not... you just gotta obsess over, it and if that's what you want, if you want, if you want to, it's hard. You gotta make sacrifices, but it's it is a easy to type of person. I guess yeah, certain I don't type know. of grind and no, it is no, it is hard, but it's like because. It's hard because the conspiracy, the government shit, they set you up to not ever get rich. Yep, yep. They set you up for failure. So I would say that they really set you up to like be someone's little bitch. That's mm -hmm. what you're, that's what you're made to be. Yeah. You go to fucking school get to debt. be a little bitch. Yep. You go to college to, to get a job. It's all like, you're just someone's fucking little peasant mm -hmm. employee. Dude, it is a miracle that I went to college and graduated and was somehow able to find this weird niche and make good money because every other kid that graduated with me or that is currently graduating is working some miserable job for some shit pay and there's they can't do like you can't replicate what i am with the big butt character it's like one person can do that you can have a bunch of different people that have that can pull it off with some crazy niche this is kind of crazy though to think you went to you went, you graduated high school, mm. you went to college, you graduated college, mm. and then now you're making a fucking game with a fake butt. Yeah, gosh, look at this. They, look at this. they do not teach you that in school. Yeah, it's a satisfying this comes, slap. This, this comes in the box though, right? Yep, that's part of the game. This is a spankable butt. You, you deal out uh, penalties. You ever thought as a kid, as, as a kid, what did you want to be when you were older? Dude, I was obsessed with making videos since eighth oh, grade really? of anything. No anything way. and everything. Oh, so it all makes sense. Run around the neighborhood with the boys, jumping stuff, burning stuff, exploding things. And when did you get into conspiracy theories? <laughs> I'm not into them. I think a lot of kids out there, not everyone, obviously the majority of them know, I'm pretty normal. Like, I'm a pretty normal person. There's people out there that think I'm, like, in the fucking Illuminati. It's like, bro, I have nothing to do with anything of this whole fucking mm. thing. 
It's like they they're, hey, the, those ones too. watching. They're like, yeah, that's what he'd say. No, but seriously, I'm like pretty normal. Like you, you I mean, everyone, yeah. anyone who knows me knows. I'm just like. Well, the wild thing is, all of your favorite A-list celebrity movie actors and favorite A-list musicians are have sold their soul for you, money and fame. You really think that's all real? Oh, I wouldn't doubt it though. Twenty percent, it's real. I mean, isn't it the most fascinating, like most entertaining to be talking about what's actually happening? Yeah, okay, what's actually happening? The things we've been talking about. Yeah. Um, Not the nonsense they feed you in CNN to keep you... But who watches that, dude? You watch that? Hell no. Who watch, Who's watching fucking CNN? Mouth breathers. The yeah. Will Smith slap. Do you believe that was real? Hundred percent facilitated. I feel like that was hundred percent fake. Yeah, dude, it had to have been. You're yes, talking about one of the no best. No one gives a shit about that. What was it? The Oscars? The yeah, and that was like the, the highest shit. rating. I mean, maybe I sound crazy. In dude, my opinion, though, what? I feel like that shit was fake as fuck. Yes, it was. But you know how many eyeballs they got because of it, and everyone was talking. But about go back, it. click back real quick, Alex. It said it said Will Smith versus Chris Chris Rock Illuminati humiliation, humiliation rich. rich. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I feel like the Will Smith Chris Rock thing was had to have been fake, bro. That guy was like you're talking about the yeah. the biggest actor of like a generation. Hundred percent. He's been famous for like a hundred years. Yeah. And then he brand. randomly breaks and slaps some guy. Like there's no fucking way. Genius and he's like the one dude. of the best actor in the fucking world. Genius marketing. I would. Ne- I will never believe that was real. Ever. Everyone was talking about the Oscars for a month because of it. I, we're still talking about it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All he had to do was slap a guy. I know. Dude. There's no way that shit's real. Yeah. Dude, I don't believe that was real. Do you believe it was real, Alex? No, dude. Of course it was planned. You believe it was real? Oh, no, no. Yeah. Dude, when I was talking to everyone, everyone thought it was real. I was like, bro, how? And then I felt kind of crazy for a second. I was like, I was like, dude, how do you think that was real? I just really... Yeah, staged. and then Jim Carrey was saying that shit. So then I was kind of confused there. I remember, I remember when Jim Carrey said that, I was like, what? Because I feel like he's been against the Illuminati shit. Like he did the one thing, you know? He is what? in it and he dislikes it, but there's nothing he can do. I think he, when he went on, was that night that this probably this to me though a little bit though this conversation where we're saying this about people and we really have no proof or, or facts reminds me of when people feel like they know my life and they know nothing about mm. it. That's the only thing. It's like we know nothing. We do know that at the highest levels of I would say that, that but then but then to they think the a certain thing about like us and they have no nothing. It's like, bro, I I just fucking be doing, I don't really do shit. I mean, if you just do some decent research, you can figure it all out. And it's all of, uh, dude, it's a ring of the most influential celebrities. They are not allowed to become that influential unless they become part of the club. Yeah, dude, look at that. Completely, completely staged. Yeah. I mean, dude, you can. I mean, Will Smith can do anything. He can like, cry. He can make you dude, laugh. Like a I mean, he's fake a beast. Slap, dude. No, he's he's a beast though. He's so good. You he's like Will Smith or no? Oh yeah, he's, he's one of my favorites. He's the man, bro. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air is like the best show. <laughs> but he's so good at acting, dude. You would never know oh, if that's yeah. real or fake because of how good he is too. He could do that shit all day. You would never know. Oh, dude, he's a world class actor. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's like just Still like no staged. one. Yeah, definitely staged. Next topic. This is how you're going to promote your fucking game. Come in here and talk about conspiracy theories. <laughs> this is your strategy to promote this thing. People are like, wow, I super chill conspiracy guy. I got to buy that game. <laughs> Bro, what we're talking about to promote yeah. this is insane. We got some gifts for you. Gifts. Yeah, our uh, sponsor, our only sponsor of this episode is Marlo. <laughs> so we got, uh, throw him. We got right Marlo's here. Marlo's going to drop you after what they. No, no, no. This is classic conditioner. Oh. We got. Uh, classic condition. We got, uh, you may get in the shampoo after the conditioner. We got classic oh, conditioner right there. This is we actually got, nice because I didn't bring anything on this trip with me. Yep, classic shampoo. This is body wash right wow. here. Wow, dude, I'm and stocked. We got a four pack soap bar discovery set. Four pack features four different types of types of soaps: body scrub soap bar original, moisturizer soap bar original, charcoal soap bar original, and polishing soap bar. Here you go. Dang, four pack. Yeah, th- thanks to our uh, man. thanks thanks to our sponsor uh, Marlo for that. I'm gonna be using the shit out of this. What are you planning to do next? Uh, I just need to keep making vids. That's the everything else falls in line if I keep pumping out the fun viral content. And you don't feel like you need to start making longer content. I do. Yeah, but uh, but the the ten seconds short form stuff is always. I would like to do just, more. That's what I'm 10 known second for. Videos. Maybe I just keep. I mean, it's working out. Maybe we should close with talking about how we're gonna 
benefit society with our video posts? Um, how are we benefiting society? I don't fucking know. I just try to make people laugh. Honestly, I try to, I try to distract, not distract. I try to give people like, like my main channel. I just mm. try to like, I want people to just watch it. And it's kind of like a place where you don't have all that bullshit we were kind of talking mm. about today. It's like just a place to yeah. get away from that, escape from that. It's just like, it may seem dumb and stupid and like, I'm an idiot, but it's like mm. just a kind of a refreshing place where yeah. you don't have all that. And it's just like, you just... Yeah. Kind of yeah, escape. If they're that. having a terrible day or exactly. a terrible month, and for that fourteen minutes, it's they forget about all the crap that sucks in their life, and it's them enjoying fourteen minutes of your video. Yeah, because like when I go to a movie and laugh, or if I go to the movie or if I watch one, you know, whatever, for an hour and a half, and it's really funny, and you kind of forget yeah. where the fuck you're yeah, at. Yeah, takes you out of reality. I love that feeling. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Then you leave the movie theater, and it's still daylight, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> that shit's crazy. When you do it, when you go in in daylight, and it's still daylight when you come out. What are our kids going to think of us when we have kids and we're older and they're old enough to understand. What are you talking about? When we have kids, what are they going to think of us? Dude, who knows? Do you, are you worried that they're going to think bad of me? Not think bad, but no, I think I feel like I've done a lot of great things <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you yeah. don't, I don't do that. I mean, I'm, I mean, you made this really cool game. I'm sure your kids are going to love that game, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the game's still around. I have um, done a horrific job pitching. I don't know. I mean, I try to put all my money back in my hometown. I plan to raise my kids in my hometown. So it's like, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, you're very uh, generous with the money that you make. Yeah, I want to just keep doing that. And I would like to raise my family in my hometown whenever that happens. And then, yeah, I don't know, live on my land and have my own chickens and eat eggs from my own chickens. That and sounds like the American dream. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. what know. my kids are going to think of me when they're like, your dad's a big butt guy. <laughs> 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 I don't, dude, I, the, the internet's so crazy and there's always so many new characters coming out that like, if I stop today, three years from now, no one will remember or even talk about me. I know. I wonder that too. If I stepped away right now, but I don't, I think people will come up to me forever. I don't. I think Maybe if, I, you. Maybe I, think if you. I stopped right now, I don't think it would ever stop. Like, I think they'd stop coming to the house all the time. Because, like, because like they will forget about me. Like, like if I died tomorrow, like, no one mm. cares. No one gives That's a fuck about I exist. No, dude, no one cares. You would go down in history. Maybe on YouTube history, but, like, no one cares. And, like, it doesn't affect they, anyone's life. Dude, I promise Everyone you it would be continues. a huge deal. Bro, maybe in the news for so they can get their little clicks in the no, thumbnail of my be fucking like, picture, but that's it. You would be ingrained in the internet forever for eternity like as one of the greats yeah i know it's like kobe bryant it's like bro everyone still moves on with their lives yeah but they'll you never I mean? not he's like, a legend never like not a, bring him up or never not maybe yeah yeah but, but I'm, what i mean is like it doesn't really affect anyone's life if i die you know what i mean i disagree do you, you know what i'm saying like it, it you're still gonna go fucking make your videos tomorrow you're gonna do whatever you do like it's not gonna change mm. anything it would change the layout of the internet a little bit. No, it wouldn't, dude. Yeah, it has, would. No, my uh, me, I have no effect on the internet at all. <laughs> None. I don't know what reality. I mean, you'd have like you'd have like fifty true. less people copying what I do. That's probably it. Like a bunch of no, random kids like, that copy me. For example, me. it would be similar to, um, who's that? No, it would be a way bigger deal. The Joe Aesthetics guy that died. I don't even know. Yeah. That sounds rude. It would be a, a body lot builder. bigger deal if... Why are we talking about dying? I don't know what we were talking about before. Mm. Oh, we're well, talking about like kids. if I stop posting and just... So I was just giving an example like... Mm. Yeah, I think... Let's say I didn't die. If I think if I stopped posting, I, I think people would probably come up to me... F I don't know how long, but I mean for the next 10 years probably. Yeah, decade. Like at least. Yeah. But like I don't... Yeah, I don't fucking know. I mean Jewish Godfather probably got people coming up to him still. So. Who's that? The guy in my videos. I don't know. I think, yeah. I mean, I've been on for almost 10 years now, so I feel like it would take years to kind of go away mm. too. But I almost think like be, these kids in 20 years, they see me and be like, oh shit, I used to watch you when I was, you know, mm. I feel like that would even still happen. So I always wonder like, but I don't know. Yeah. You really think that you think people actually matter? I feel like no one matters, dude. Maybe that's cause you're, you're like so disconnected from those people's reality where the average Joe, dude, they're in love with you. I get it, but if I die right now, yeah, the average Joe 
still has to go to school or college or work every day. Yeah, they're not going to stop what they're doing. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about life. It does, I'm saying it doesn't affect your life at all. It, like, they'll be bummed. Oh, damn, that sucks. Did you hear he died? Oh, no, Danny died. Oh, no. <laughs> and then they move on, and then they're playing fucking Fortnite and shit, you know? No, they would never, they would never forget. Like, okay, who's somebody that we both grew up on that if they died? Kobe Bryant's a good example, I think. I was never into basketball. I'm not into sports at all. I don't know. Any sport. I can't even You think. were super Steve into Robin Irwin? Big. Robin, Robin Williams. Yeah, I mean, Robin Williams is, is a legend, but it's like, that was just like, it's like, damn, that sucks. But you, your YouTube viewers and your social media viewers are much more connected with you than a random idiot at home watching <laughs> Robin Williams on Netflix. <laughs> like they know you way better. They've seen you at length a lot longer. They've seen you. No, what I mean though is like you can't do anything other than move on with your life is what I kind of mean. Like it, you can't yeah. do anything. It's like no one gives a fuck. But like it'd still be a huge deal. For like two days, bro. <laughs> That's it, dude. dude. <laughs> you think? No. Well, I got friends that died and it's like you just move on. You have to move on. It's like it's sad but yeah, true. Bro, your friends aren't. Yeah, I guess. It's like family members, bro. You just like forget they yeah. even died. You like forget that it even happened. Yeah, you kind of kind of got to compartmentalize it. And Feels like a different life almost. Yeah, maybe we are living in a simulation. I don't know, man. I'm hungry though. You want to eat food? Yeah, I am hungry. Anything you want to say? Um, gosh, the only thing is, like I said, just, gosh, I hope my videos are benefiting society and doing like it is making the world a better place than when I found it. You know what I mean? I think it's getting worse for sure. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah. Not because of you, but I definitely think it's getting worse. <laughs> no, but am I slowing the the deterioration um, of society or am I accelerating? You're it? like a little piece of like putting like a scotch tape on like a fucking <laughs> something fucked up. Yeah. Like maybe like, like scotch that. tape on a huge wound. That yeah. Is yeah, the yeah. Social media consumption. Yeah. I would say it's like that. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I would just, say I wanted to get you on though, mainly because I feel like no one gets to talk or hear from you at all. They just yeah. see your little funny videos, but and now they know I, why. I think you're, yeah, I think you're, I think you're more intelligent <laughs> than what your videos. Your videos just oh, seem yeah. like this stupid little ten second thing, but you're a really smart guy. You're really athletic. Uh, oh, so nice. I wanted uh, people to kind of, I wanted to talk to you about it, and I wanted other people to obviously hear yeah. that as well. Well, hopefully this is the one and only. <laughs> length, full length. <laughs> the talk conspiracy that I do. theorist Frankie Lapena. Yeah, you would definitely not garner or gather that from watching my little stunts. This is great. Well, thanks for coming on. Dan, you're the man. Man of the people right here. Oh, shit. <laughs>